If you've ever pin traded in the Disney parks, chances are you've ended up with some fake pins. All these pins come from counterfeit lots on eBay and Amazon, and they should not be traded, but they can be great to use for making crafts. I'll first say that these pins are totally fine to keep in your collection. If you like it, keep it. But for most all crafting with these pins, you'll want to remove the post. Take pliers and twist the post until it breaks off. I'd recommend taking some sanding paper to make sure the post remnant isn't sharp. The first easiest project to make is magnets. You'll need a strip of magnets. I harvested this from the back of a notepad. Cut the magnet to the size you need and use E6000 to glue it to the back of the pin. Make sure the post remnant isn't taller than the magnet itself. And that's it! A fun, easy way to make magnets. Another easy project is small ornaments. There's two simple options. First is with breaking off the post, and then you can also leave the post on. Cut some ribbon to the length you'd like. Poke it through the post and put the pin back on. If you'd like a more permanent ornament, break off the post and again cut some ribbon to size. Use E6000 to glue it onto the back. Now you have some great mini-sized ornaments. Use the pins as accents for treasure chests. I got this mini chest for only a dollar at Michael's and it will match perfectly with this Pirate Donald pin. Paint your chest however you'd like. I'm making this look like a classic treasure chest.
When the paint is dry, again just glue on the pin. pin backs. Pins also make great accents for bows. For this, you'll need an alligator clip to attach to the back. If you want to make your own bow, cut a piece of felt and fold both ends into the middle. Accordion fold it down Glue to secure and add a centerpiece So that the glue holds to the clip, I'm roughing up the surface Then add glue and slide to the back of the bow the pin onto the front and that's it. Now you have an awesome personalized accessory. You can also customize your pins with nail polish. Use a pin that doesn't have enamel, such as chaser pins, and grab your favorite nail polish. Use toothpicks to drop the color into the pin. Use the side of the toothpick to spread everything out. You've now basically made your own pin. You can keep the post on unless you want to turn it into another craft. Finally, you can make awesome photo frames. I'm using a $1 wooden frame from Michaels. Take some craft foam and cut it to cover the frame. This will help with the pin post remnants. Glue on the foam and paint the edges to match. Now grab a bunch of pins and arrange them however you like and glue them down. 
I organized all my pins by color. And this is great to do if you happen to have a large pin lot. Now you can display a photo in an awesome pin frame. There are so many fun crafts you can make with fake Disney pins, and I hope this gave you some ideas of all the cool projects you can make. But thanks for watching!